Good morning and welcome to the Crafty Canary for your tip on Tuesday. A while back I gave you a tip where I added some elastic to some uh, pajama pants that didn't fit very well anymore. The elastic was a little bit shot and I think they started out a little bit too big anyway. So I added elastic but I took this little tie off as I was sewing the elastic so that I wouldn't run over it with my sewing machine as I was stitching the elastic on. But I've put the tie back on and I wanna take this time to show you something that might help you out if you have ever had this happen. Now these pajama pants, the tie came like this. So it's untied, but it's purely decorative. So it's really not serving any purpose other than to have a cute bow and look cute. But it constantly comes untied like this. And not only is that not cute, but it also is irritating because it's just flapping around everywhere and getting in your way. So of course, before I go to bed, before I put them on, I would tie it, but then that bow it looks cute, but it would come untied during the night and just be so irritating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it permanently tied. So doing that, I need to do some hand sewing. So I've got a thimble because this is through a lot of layers. You're gonna sew through the knot of that bow. So you're going through all the layers of the bow. So you're going through a lot of layers. So you definitely want a thimble so that you protect your finger. And I need a good, sturdy needle. This one is pretty thick, sharp, and long. And I'm going to use the gray thread that matches the pajamas, and I'm going to double thread it. So I've put my thread into two layers, two strands, so that each stitch is almost like I'm stitching twice. So two threads are going through it. So I thread that through my needle. Thankfully, the eye of this needle is pretty big, so it may not be too difficult, even though I'm on camera, which of course it's going to be difficult because I'm on camera. And I have my contacts in, which do not make it easy. There we go. And then I'm going to tie a knot in the end. Now, again, I'm going through a lot of layers. I'm going to be going through the elastic, through the waistband, and through the whole bow. So I'm going to make sure my bow is the way I want it. Uh, it's a little bit uneven on one side, so I'm going to pull it a little more, make sure it's the way I want it. That's pretty good. So now I'm starting from the back, from the inside of the pajamas, from where, you know, I've sewn it back on. I'm going to find kind of the middle where the knot is, and I'm going to go all the way through. So I've come out in the middle of my bow. Thankfully, too, this fabric is not super thick, so I'm not having to go through a whole bunch. Now, I'm just gonna make about a eighth of an inch stitch. Here's where it's a little more difficult going all the way through. Pull that through. I'm gonna do probably about two more stitches. It depends um, the thickness of your fabric, if my fabric was super thick um, and this was really difficult, I probably would not only do one or two, but um, I kind of felt the knot not go, or the knot go through a little bit. So I'm gonna do a few extra just in case my knot escaped and wasn't enough. So that's about three times, I believe. We'll do one more just for safety. I'm beginning to get short here on my end, so I'm gonna pull that so my needle doesn't come unthreaded. Do one more to the inside, and now I'm gonna tie my knot. So I like to go catch the inside a little bit and make a tiny stitch once. Do that again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a loop with my thread. So see, I've got a loop there, and I'm gonna go through it with my needle and pull that knot in. I'm gonna do that again. Make a loop. Can you see the loop? And I'm putting my needle through it and pulling through. Then I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna kinda of go barely into the elastic and go about a half an inch away from my knot, pull it and cut it. So now we have a bow that's not gonna come undone. See, I'm not gonna pull on it too much because I don't wanna pull my threads out, but it's not gonna come undone. It's gonna stay that way, at least for a little while. Of course, you know, 
stitching is never perfect and foolproof. I may have to restitch it again in a year or two if I if these pants make it that long, but at least for a while it won't be irritating to me and continue to fall out. So I hope that that has been helpful if you've ever had that problem. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and come back next week for another great tip. Thanks so much. Bye.